Hey guys, so today's video is going to be something that I wanted to do for the longest time and that is conspiracy theories. Oh my god. So conspiracy theories are a new thing on YouTube apparently. Ever since Shane started uploading um, conspiracy theory videos, everyone started doing them and I was not going to hop on the trend because I hate doing that but I just had to because girl, you don't understand how much I love conspiracy theories. One of my favorites is Mandela effects and I also love just creeping myself out with like like hidden messages or hidden reasons behind kids TV shows and so that is what I'm gonna be showing you guys today I was gonna do just like kids TV show conspiracy theories but I wanted to throw in some Mandela effects because I have been researching Mandela effects and I've pretty much seen every single one that there is and I believe all of them but there are a few that I haven't heard people talking about and I just wanted to throw them out there to kind of trip you out if you haven't heard of them before so um, with that being said let's just go ahead and get into it so I'm gonna start off with the Mandela effects because they're super quick and I can just tell them to you right now I'm gonna explain the Mandela effect really quickly because I don't know if some of you guys don't know what it is if you don't know what it is you need to internet better but um, I'm so mean I'm sorry so I didn't even explain it I just jumped to the theories about it so if you don't know what the Mandela effect is I'm gonna just explain it it's basically it all started it gets its name from Nelson Mandela because many people remember him dying in prison instead of after prison in 2012 so ever since then people started picking up on things that they just remembered differently than they are now and that's just kind of what it is and you can look them up there's millions of them and it trips you out i promise so yeah okay there's like two different like reasons behind it one of them is that there are parallel universes and we're kind of like overlapping with the other it's really weird and hard to explain you can just like look it up but another one is that like time travel so like someone went back in time and then changed something really really little it makes sense because time travel is going to be a thing eventually sometime so if it's a thing in the future then it has to be a thing now if you know what i'm saying that makes so much sense why that would happen because a lot of people remember something as a certain thing and now it's just different and for that to just happen out of nowhere it's like what and a lot of people are just like oh it's just like your brain messes up things and but if everyone remembers it that way and it's something that's so big and you see everywhere, why would it just change all of a sudden? So the first one that I have heard of recently is Whiteout, how it's always been spelled W-H-I-T-E, okay, like white, like how you spell white. No, it's never had an H. It's always just been W-I-T-E-O-U-T. Like, I think not where like what I don't really understand that like why anyone would make a product where it's just like spelled like that I don't it doesn't even make any sense I've always remembered it being spelled white out with an H like whenever I even type it on my phone and like put the dash and everything it's not it's like saying that it's spelled wrong like everyone knows the second one is in the um, song 12 days of Christmas since it's the holidays this is good get you in the holiday mood um <laughs> but <laughs> this is like the creepiest one ever because I swear on my life oh my god so this one is that in the song 12 days of Christmas everyone remembers it being on the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me yeah, like that just sounds right. True love gave to me. No. Okay, you gotta rethink that decision because when you look up the lyrics to 12 Days of Christmas, it's true love sent to me. What? Ah, like that doesn't even know. I have heard it in commercials, in movies. I've heard this song over and over again and it's always been gave. Then the third one is in the song Deck the Halls. I think Shane put this in a video, but I'm not sure. But apparently it's always been Deck the Hall which makes no sense. I I literally don't understand that. The fourth one is Mod Podge. So apparently it, it's now Mod Podge and not Mod Podge, which everyone remembers it being Mod Podge. I have been watching DIY videos ever since I discovered YouTube and every every single YouTuber that I've watched do a DIY video that uses Mod Podge says Mod Podge. It's always been Mod Podge. That one is so much to you because I love Mod Podge. I use it all the time. Like it works so great for things and me being a crafty artsy DIY queen. Just kidding. I can't do anything. I know that it's Mod Podge. Like oh my god. Then the last one, number five, this one gets me because oh my god, you can ask anyone. 
literally anyone and they will tell you that it's always this I, I don't even I don't even know what like what apparently daylight savings time is now daylight saving time what? I can't even with this one because I like literally I found this out right after daylight savings time ha daylight savings time happened and everyone was like set your clocks back daylight savings time even snapchat said daylight savings time so when you look it up the google thing says daylight saving time anything you look up it says daylight saving time everyone always searches daylight savings time because that's how people say it but every single thing that comes up says daylight saving time like what do you mean I swear to god that's probably like a recent one because I've never heard anyone say daylight saving time like that just doesn't even roll off the tongue right like I don't I don't understand oh my god if you want me to list some more Mandela effects I can put them all in the description I'm probably gonna do it anyway so now I'm moving on to hidden messages and kind of like conspiracy theories about kids TV shows this is gonna mess you up so much and it's gonna freak you out anytime you think of like an old Disney show or an old Nick show because it makes so much sense when I explain it so for the first one this is gonna be about the show Max and Ruby I don't know if you've ever heard this one I did see it on Instagram a while back and I was so intrigued by it because Max and Ruby was one of my favorite kids TV shows. I used to love it so much. So there's a lot of conspiracy theories about why the parents are not there and how they died or what happened to them. The first theory about them dying is that they were attacked by wolves and you kind of notice this a lot because they play Little Red Riding Hood and they've like acted it out in one of the episodes. I don't know and I feel like that one makes sense but the second one even makes more sense and I feel like this is totally real. So this one all kind of adds up. So the reason is that the parents died in a car accident when they were driving Ruby to Bunny Scouts and Ruby survived and was okay and so did Max but Max got brain injury which is why he always messes things up and he never really understands a lot could also be why he's mute because in the show he doesn't talk at all also he always plays with police cars and ambulances in the show you notice that like that's the only toys that he plays with the tv show is just dropping hints ah just looking back on it now i can't unsee that theory like i only watch it i'm just like oh ah. so the next one is about phineas and ferb and there's two theories for this one the main idea all has to do with candace because in the show candace never really can bust the brothers so phineas and ferb just go on these adventures and summer basically never ends the show is just all in summer and they go on these little crazy adventures it's like it takes them somewhere from the backyard and then candace always tries to bust them and like tell mom but then she always it like never happens like they never get in trouble for it and for some reason they have to throw that in there every single episode and it never, I never really understood why they did that. So there's two theories. There's one that Candace is actually schizophrenic and all of this is just in her imagination. And that's why every time she tries to bust them, her mom is like, what are you talking about? And that's why all of this happens in one crazy episode and everything is so weird and far stretched and unrealistic and it's all just in Candace's head. Also just the fact that her every time she tries to bust the brothers it just disappears in front of her eyes kind of like a flashback to reality and how it's all just in her head the second theory is also like a car crash just like the max and ruby one and this is that phineas actually died in a car accident and candace is trying to deal with his death by imagining all these cool scenarios and what it would be like in the afterlife to cope with his death. In the show, Ferb like can't talk at all and he's so weird and just kind of like there. So it makes sense if he was just kind of like there because he's not the one dead but she just kind of throws him in there because the whole thing is about Phineas. It's weird. It's crazy. Okay, so the third theory that I'm going to talk about is iCarly, and I love iCarly. I literally used to be obsessed with iCarly in, like, fourth grade. I also love Drake and Josh, and I haven't, like, I didn't watch it at the time, obviously, because I was, like, little, and I didn't even know what it was, but now I've watched episodes that are, like, older, and it's just so fun to watch. It's just such a great show. So this theory is going to blow your mind because it makes sense. So in Drake and Josh, Spencer and Carly both were played in that show by Megan, which was the little sister. Everyone knows Megan, Miranda Cosgrove. 
Um, and then Crazy Steve at the movie theater who has issues with Drake and Josh. He always has very bad anger management issues and he just gets mad and he's literally crazy. That's why they call him Crazy Steve. And he's Jerry Springer who plays Spencer and iCarly. So this theory is a little bit crazy, but the theory is that Crazy Steve actually killed Drake and Josh when he got really angry with them one time. Then he killed the rest of their family and kidnapped Megan and then took her and pretended to be her older brother and then kind of make up this background story that her mom was supposedly dead and her dad was in the military or the US Navy. In one episode of iCarly, I remember this because I literally love this episode so much, it's like one of my favorite. So Carly's grandfather comes to visit, wants to take Carly with him to this town called Yakima because he thought that Spencer wasn't responsible enough to keep Carly and act as if he was a dad. In the episode, grandfather, the grandfather said that he was gonna be staying at the Parker and Nichols Hotel, which if you stand Drake and Josh, that's their last names, Drake Parker and Josh Nichol. In the theory, Drake and Josh had something to do with this hotel, obviously because of their last names. And so what it is is that they use their inheritance in honor of the iconic family and made a hotel out of it and that is where her grandfather comes to stay and that is where he's like he realizes what happened and he realizes the awful news and so he wants to go save Carly. That's basically what it is. It sounds literally crazy but that is the theory about iCarly and I low-key believe it. I know there's got to be more than just her mom was just dead and then her dad was just in the military. Like it's very it's a very weird situation there. If her mom died when she was really young and her dad is in the US Navy. Why wouldn't he just quit? It doesn't make any sense if he is really trusting his son to take care of her instead of just being there for her. It kind of just triggers me a lot. And just the fact that the dad doesn't have any contact with his dad, which is Carly's grandfather. It's very, very sketchy and I never really understood that. Although it may seem a little bit crazy, what if it's true? I don't know. You can believe it or you can't. So that is basically it for the conspiracy theory video. If you guys want me to do more conspiracy theories, I am so down because I love conspiracy theories so much and I have so many good ones that not a lot of people talk about on the internet and if you want me to post them please let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up I will do them I loved chatting with you guys if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe follow all my social media and I will see you in my next video I love you guys bye